Hey, what's up Wix Nation? Welcome back to another video here on the Wix Training Academy channel. My name is Sarah Michaels and I will be your hostess for this video here today where I will be showing you how to upload custom fonts like this one right here for your Wix website. If you haven't yet already, please make sure that you go ahead, click on the subscribe button and the bell so that you do not miss out when a new video drops. All right, so custom fonts can be a really great way to make your website stand out and they are, as the font says here, <laughs> and they are actually really easy to find and oftentimes you can find them really inexpensively and I just wanna show you an example of what custom fonts can look like on other um, sites as well. So they kind of just make your site stand out a little bit and this would be relevant depending on your branding obviously but a lot of the times especially if you are creating for a female business or female entrepreneurs um, they especially will like to use some of these more frilly fonts but that being said there are also some just really incredible fonts out there and my favorite place to get fonts from is the creative market so creativemarket.com forward slash fonts. Now, if you've never done this before, it's really easy. You can come in here and you can literally find any font that you could possibly be thinking of. Um, some of them are just great for like providing more of like a professional, especially if you're designing any kind of modern or high end or luxury websites. Oftentimes I found that the, the fonts that come stock with Wix, no, no offense, no dissing Wix whatsoever, but sometimes you just need a little bit extra, or maybe you just want to play around with something fun and different and new. And this is where you can really find that. So underneath of the fonts category, you'll see that they have literally everything. So let's just go into view all fonts. Um, oftentimes you can find a lot of them um, like discounted too. So you can see they've got over 10,000 different products here. You can go price, you can search from the price lowest to highest. You can find, let's for the sake of this, let's just say we're gonna go look at some hipster fonts. Those look fun. <laughs> so for hipster fonts, uh, you can see some of these different ones right here. And let's say that you really loved the Peachy, which is kind of a retro, a fun site. This I could see if you were designing like maybe, um, you know, if you had a food truck or just something fun, this font right here. So let's say that you really wanted this one. What you would do is you would add it to your cart and you'll be able to download this file to your computer. And once you have the file, all you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your Wix editor. Okay, so once you go through the whole, the whole purchased thing here, and you can pick as little or as many as you want, some of the bundles are really incredible. You can get them for like, you can get like, I don't even know, I think I paid 20 bucks for something like over a hundred different fonts, which was really cool. Some of them have been really fun and it's, it's just, it's kind of fun just to play around with the different fonts that they have. Um, so, okay, so once you have that finished, very easy to do. Open up your Wix editor here, and when you select any piece of text, it doesn't matter, doesn't matter which piece of text it is, just grab one from the page, and go ahead and click on the edit text option. And you're gonna see that when you go to the drop down menu next to the font selection. You can go ahead and click this like that. And all the way down on the bottom of this menu, you'll notice a selection that says upload fonts. This is where you will then upload the file. So when you purchased your font here from the creative market or whatever, maybe you're buying fonts from someone on Etsy or somewhere else, it doesn't matter where you've purchased the font, chances are they've given you the font in one of these supported formats. It's very simple, all you do is click on upload font and then you will see that this font here is now in your font selections available for your use on your Wix website. So we'll go ahead and click on close. So now when I want to change a font on my website to that 
particular font. Let's say I'm gonna go ahead and instead of using this one, I wanna upload mine. I can scroll all the way to the top and underneath of there, there will now be a category called My Fonts, and that's where any of the fonts that you have uploaded to this particular site will be available. Um, the cool thing is that when you're designing on like different sites, sometimes um, depending on what account you're using, they will transfer over. So that's really handy if you're watching this and you are a designer, so you don't have to constantly, at least on my end, hopefully that this is a feature for you as well, but on my end, if I'm working with different sites in the same account, it will just upload all of the fonts naturally because they're all underneath of my account, which is really nice. So I don't have to worry about going in and uploading every font to every site. So that's super cool. And then when I click on it, it will just automatically change. So there you have it. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this. It's very easy to do and obviously click on save. So I'm curious if you have purchased fonts from a different market, please feel free to share down below where you get your favorite fonts from or if you've never done this before but now you're gonna have fun and go try it out, I 100% would recommend it. You can grab fonts for like as little as a couple dollars. I think the cheapest font that I ever found was like two bucks or something. So have fun with it, play around with it, and we look forward to hearing from you and seeing what you create. Go ahead and drop us some feedback or comments down below or if you have any questions. This really is meant to be an interactive experience and we will be communicating with you in the comments section. So thank you so much for joining us here today and remember if you didn't already, go ahead and click on subscribe and the bell so you get notified when the next video drops. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video.